Hello everyone, in this video we will be looking at the Seraph and I will be explaining what pilot I prefer running, the best weapons and the best modules to use alongside the active module. Firstly, the one thing that I do love about this robot is the DK weapons on it. If you put on two DK weapons and the shield breaker with a repair amplifier and two nuclear amplifiers it can be devastating to the enemy team and that is one of the best builds that I love to use. So we will do that right now for this demonstration. So if you can get your hands on two of these DKs it is a fantastic build and I highly recommend it. My second favourite build would have to be the punchers. Those punchers are very deadly. Again, two nuclear amplifiers, one repair and a shield breaker. A lot of the time I use a shield breaker with my Seraph because the chips I use and the drone. I use the beak drone alongside on damage out damage chips. That allows me to avoid healing and just use the shield breaker to hit the enemies that are using all mild damage absorbers because currently within the meta and the game you are seeing a lot of people run the big drone or other drones with the f-type chip and then they run all mild damage absorber which enables them to get the purple shield so running a shield breaker allows you to miss the shield and shoot straight through it hence the name shield breaker the pilot that i like running currently is the victoria b the reason being is due to the ability, Victoria's Vengeance. Seraph accelerates by 25% during the flight and flies for longer duration. The skills that I do like on this pilot is Armor Expert, Dodger, Cautious Pilot, Raw Dog, Master Gunsmith and Modules Expert. I like running Armor Expert because I need to be tanky and I need to be more durable within the battle. Cautious Pilot the same scenario, Seraph has increased durability but its speed is lowered by 7.5%. Lowering your speed is bad but then we are using Raw Dog to accompany that and compensate for it as well. Losing the speed, we do gain it back by using the Road Hog. I use the Master Gunsmith because Seraph will deal increased weapons damage. It allows our DKs or any weapon we run to deal more damage and damage at the moment is very important, there's a lot of durable robots out there, so dealing a lot of damage is always good. Quartermaster, I will definitely not be using that skill, so let's change that in this video. So looking through this list, what I will be trying to look for is Destroyer, which is at the bottom there for 2k gold. And if you haven't already guys, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends. Secondly, there is Legend Day today, where all, all pilots are in the shop and upgrading pilots is much cheaper. So make sure you do upgrade your pilots today. Back to the, back to the pilot skills. So right now we did get Dodger, let's upgrade it to T2 and then we'll take it to T3 and as you can see there is a 25% discount which is absolutely fantastic and we will for the sake of the video just boost it so it's maxed out it is 148 and then 180 I believe it's 180 every time we boost it up so that is quite expensive but we will get it done for the sake of the video there we go, so now we have Armour Expert, Dodger, Cautious Pilot, Raw Dog, Master Gunsmith, Modules Expert and Destroyer. What other skills would I recommend if you don't have those ones? I would probably go with Mechanic if you need more healing and if you are dying a lot quicker and you need to heal more, go with Mechanic. If you play a lot of beacon games you could go with Adamant Guardian. If the enemy team controls three or more big guns, Seraph gets increased defense points. That is always a good one because sometimes you're three capped in an intense game and you need those defense points to keep you alive and basically win the game. That is one I always recommend. You could get Spy as well. Seraph has increased speed but it's 
weapons damage is lowered by 1.2 percent the only downfall to that is that you have you do gain the additional speed but then your weapon damage would be very low but then you could compensate that by running the master gunsmith so you could run those two skills together lastly you could run foolhardy that's one which practically run on most robots but that was just a quick video guys of what i'm running on my seraph let me show you the drone i'm using as well the drone i will be using is the beak and as you can see as i mentioned earlier on damage dealt damage chips we do have an on repair unit defense chip as well and lastly the f type chip on my damage absorber that is how i build my seraph we did do gameplay on the live stream and i will do gameplay further on in the next video but thank you all for watching if you haven't already please make sure you like share and subscribe for more and hopefully comment below if you like these videos take it easy everyone and i'll catch you all in the next one